Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level Practice Paper A. Here we're working on question 3, a trigonometry question. Find the value to one decimal place of theta in the interval from 0 to 180 of 4 root 3 sine 3 theta plus 20 equals 4 cos 3 theta plus 20 as well. Okay, I notice here that I'm working with 3 theta plus 20 here. So that's what I'm going to want to change my uh, domain to. So at the moment I've got in between 0 to 180. So what I'd like to do first is times everything by 3. So the 0 will stay the same and the 180 will become now uh, four, 540. And then I'm going to add on 20 to my domain. So it's going to be 3 theta plus 20 will it uh, be less than 560. So when I draw any graphs to do with sine, cos or tan, I know that my graph needs to go in between 20 to 560. Right, okay, so let's start this question by thinking about what we can do with the sine and the cos. So there's no squares in anywhere in this uh, equation here. So what I probably need to do to, to change a sine and a cos into a single trigonometric function is to divide by cos, and then I'll use the identity that tan of y is equal to sine of y over cos of y. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is divide through by cos 3 theta plus 20. So I get 4 root 3 sine 3 theta plus 20 divided by cos 3 theta plus 20. And that's going to equal 4. OK, so what I would like now is to change this sine over cos into a tan of 3 theta plus 20. Uh, but in order to do that, I need to get rid of this 4 root 3 as well. So I'm going to divide through by 4 and then divide through by root 3. And what I'll get is 1 over root 3 as the final answer at that point there. What I'm going to do next is now do the inverse of tan here. So 3 theta plus 20 is going to equal tan to the minus 1 of 1 over root 3. And from my GCSE knowledge, I know that tan minus 1 of 1 over root 3 is going to equal 30 degrees. OK, so now what I need to do is pull out that tan graph in between my domain from 20 to 560. So my tan graph looks roughly like that. I have an asymptote at 90 degrees, uh, and then I repeat myself uh, up to 270. Then I'm going to repeat myself again. That will intersect at 360. This is intersected at 180 and 360, so this is now 540 here, and continuing on, this is going to intersect at 540, um, so 560 is going to finish somewhere up there. And what I've got here is I've got 1 over root 3, uh, and my first angle that I found was 30 degrees. So what I need to do is I need to go along adding on 180 each time, which is where, which is how my tan graph repeats itself. So what I need to do then is do, uh, to find the next angle on, so I found 30 already, my next angle up here is going to be 180, add 30, which will give me 210, so 210 here. Then my next angle is going to be 360, add on 30, which is going to give me 390. And my next angle up here is going to be 540, add 30, but hold on, that gives me 570, which I don't need, that's outside of my range. So 
for the value 3 theta plus 20, I've got three answers of 30 degrees, 210 degrees, and 390 degrees. However, what I need to do is I need to work out now the value of 3 theta. So taking away 20 from all of these answers, and I get 10, 190, and 370. And then to divide and get theta, I need to now divide by 3. And quickly getting my calculator out, uh, I've got 3.3 here. What does my answer want this to? One decimal place. Okay, so 3.3 is fine. 63.3 uh, is next, and 370 divided by 3 is 123.3. All of those are to one decimal place. Great, six marks.